suffered an injury called internal decapitation. Stephanie Golden talked to her today. Stephanie joins us now. Stephanie, first, let's get this out of the way. What is this kind of injury? Well, Adam, this rare injury happens when the ligaments that attach a person's skull to their spine are severed. Burnett says she is lucky to be alive. Her head wasn't really what it, where it should be in relation to her spine and was completely dislocated um, from where it should be sitting on her neck. It's called internal decapitation. Ellen Burnett suffered the injury last year on vacation in New Jersey. It happened while she was body surfing with her grandkids. A wave threw her head first into the ocean floor. I heard the crunch and the crunch crunch and I came up and my neck was really sore. I was in I was in pain and I knew that I better not move. She was taken to the hospital. Doctors told her she would recover in about 12 weeks. They told me I was fine, wear a collar, wear this collar that they had fitted me for and they sent me home. But everything was not fine. Little did she know the neck collar was keeping her alive. So if that collar had been removed, um, eventually my, my head would have done something that would have severed my spinal cord or at least injured it. Dr. Anthony Petralia, a neurosurgeon at Rochester Regional Health, had to use metal plates to reattach her head to her neck. Typically, uh, this is typically seen in situations where people can have uh, a sudden death at the, at the time of the injury. Burnett lost the ability to turn her neck from side to side, but she is back to doing what she loves best. I was pretty determined to do everything I could do to recover well, play with my granddaughter and you know, spend time with family and friends doing what I love to do, and I'm lucky that I'm able to do that. It took Burnett about a year to recover, and with some minor adjustments, the avid golfer is back in the swing of things. From the newsroom, Stephanie Golden, News 8. Adam? Oof, incredible, Stephanie. Thank you. According to the medical experts, only 30% of people who suffer from this kind of injury actually survive.